this door panel. Start with the sail panel. <clears throat> You've got a couple of clips up here. I think they're here, here, uh, and here. I'll do here. Get this lock off, lock knob off. There's a, a square plastic cover here. Pry at it from the top gently with a sharp object. And then this just comes right off. So when that's loose, it'll pull off. Then when you reinstall it, you put the you put it back on like this slide it down, then you just press that in. Now we'll take up this piece of trim here. This covers a couple of bolts we need to get to to hold this door panel on. Then there's also a piece of plastic down here uh, within the hand rest, or the, excuse me, the, the handle. Now right behind the door handle, down at the lower door handle, the pull handle, there's a rectangular trim piece. <clears throat> Same type of thing there. Get behind it, clip it. <clears throat> so now you've got one, two, three, four. Here is a four-step easy guide of finding the compatible side mirror glass for your vehicle. Step one. Check your vehicle's make, model, year, and trim information. Make sure it is listed among the compatible vehicles. Step 2. Check the OE number of your side mirror glass. This number should be same in order replacement part to fit your vehicle. Step 3. Check each feature your side mirror has, and make sure these features are supported by the replacement part. Heated glass. Blind spot monitoring. Auto dimming. Step 4. Some mirror glasses comes with back plate, and some does not. Make sure the item is tailored for your need. We are proud to serve wide range of products and accurate compatibility to our customers with long-lasting, high-quality side mirrors by Speed. Instructions EE. Safety first. Wear safety goggles and gloves. We will be working with this type of mountings located behind your glass assembly. This type of mount has two sliding tabs at the bottom and two clips on top. The glass assembly clips on for installation and clips off for removal. If damaged glass assembly is entirely gone, please check that your mounting plate is still in place and in one piece. If necessary, contact your dealer parts department for missing mount plate. Samples of how to remove glass assembly from mounting plate. You will need to find a gap at the top between glass assembly and mounting plate to pry it off. For this type of glass assembly, you will be able to find a gap at the top by tilting glass downward. Tilt glass from the bottom to make a gap at the top. Insert screwdriver between glass assembly and mounting plate. Twist and pry up. Repeat one more time until glass assembly is loose and comes out. If old glass assembly is still mounted but loose, lightly slide glass assembly up for removal. Disconnect heated wires, turn signal, and auto dimming plug attached behind the glass assembly. Install replacement fit system glass assembly. Adjust mounting plate to be upright. Connect included adapter plug if applicable. Reconnect heated wires, turn signal, and auto dimming plug to new glass assembly. Heated wires can be connected to either heated pin. Our glass assembly does not include auto dimming functionality. Push away excess wires. Wires must not interfere with mounting. Slide the two bottom tabs on glass assembly to the mounting plate. Using both hands, push glass assembly from center top to mounting plate. You will hear two snaps for proper installation. Installation is complete. You can test installation was done properly by lightly pulling glass assembly from one corner. Glass should not come off easily. 
Test to make sure turn signal functions correctly. Test to make sure power functions in, out, down, and up work correctly.